In this forest west of Kiev, in the loose dirt, a shallow grave containing the body of a single Russian soldier. The village of Zavalivka is quiet these days, but two and a half months ago, Russian troops were here as they tried to push into the capital. They were shooting, I was afraid to die, says this 75-year-old woman. Her neighbor later saw a soldier alone, limping in her yard. I looked at him and understood that he's not one of ours. He was later found dead and temporarily buried. His body is now being exhumed by a crew from the Ukrainian military, tasked with retrieving Russia's dead, left behind in a war it's waging. After the team arrived here to exhume this body, they received other information about another possible mass burial site, but they can't go there yet because the area hasn't been demined. Ukraine has been quick to point out how busy it's been collecting the bodies of Russian soldiers from fields and villages. Bodies found near Kiev are brought here to refrigerated rail cars. Most can't be identified. Credit cards and a wallet reveal this young man was likely from an impoverished region in Siberia. They made a decision to commit a crime. They've crossed our border of our country, and that's why I have no pity for them. On Victory Day, Russia's President Vladimir Putin proclaimed that every death of a soldier is a grief to us all. But Russia won't reveal how many of its troops are dying, instead focusing on their triumphs in combat. These are the images they don't want the public to see. Bodies sitting in storage, waiting to be claimed. If not, soldiers Russia sent to invade Ukraine could end up buried here. Friar Stewart, CBC News, Kiev.